what is an appraisal waiver and how do I get one? I want an appraisal waiver. No, I want an appraisal waiver. I want an appraisal waiver. Let's give the whole country appraisal waivers. Well, that's not quite how it works. So let's talk about that a little bit more. So an appraisal waiver, it stands for property inspection waiver. And the person that's buying the house can either option to exercise that when they get one or option not to, but let's break it down a little bit more. So a principal inspection waiver is issued through an automated underwriting system through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. So this means that the loan type has to be a conventional loan because it's only issued through either Fannie or Freddie. And so what is needed is to know what the purchase price is and the address and we uh, match it up to the buyer and run the loan through this automated underwriting system to determine if we get a property inspection waiver. And that's usually given to borrowers who have at least 20% down, a good credit profile, and most importantly, this is the most important element, is that there is data in the system of Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac for the past five to seven, in the past five to seven years, meaning either the seller or the previous owner before that did a conventional loan and they have had an appraisal before. So Fannie and Freddie have been collecting this data for a good decade or so and they're creating these algorithms, right? And these algorithms show them what the previous appraiser, appraisal was, what homes have generally appreciated for, giving them a range of what the new value would be, and then they compare it automatically through a computer system to what other homes in the area are selling for. And they, it, they issue this property inspection waiver saying, this property is low risk at this buyer buying it for this amount of money, and we give you an inspection waiver up to this amount so I can run it at, let's say, 480,000, get an inspection waiver, run it at 500,000, still get an inspection waiver. And let's say I run it again at 515,000 and I don't get an inspection waiver. At some point, the amount of money that you put, that you offer will be a little bit, will be too high to get an inspection waiver. So if you get a property inspection waiver, it's determined that you're very low risk in comparison with the alternative of getting a full appraisal and somebody that's maybe putting 5% down that doesn't have the same profile. Or the data is just not in the system with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. I had a client that bought a home with 40% down and I did not get a property inspection waiver with either Fannie or Freddie and the house was in a more of a country area and the house currently was free and clear. So I figured that there's probably no data in the system with Fannie or Freddie to be able to issue a valuation model through the automated system. It is important to, for me to remind you that this is, can only be given with a conventional loan, not FHA, not VA, not even a jumbo loan because this is the data that Fannie and Freddie are collecting which is where all conventional money, conforming conventional money comes from. So if you get a property inspection waiver, do you have to exercise it? The answer is no. Sure, it saves you six, it saves you usually $450 to $750 for the cost of an appraisal, and there's no appraisal waiver fee. Should you choose to do an appraisal, maybe you say, I still want to know what the value of the house is. If you choose to do an appraisal, then that property inspection waiver goes out the door, and instead you do an appraisal. And if you do an appraisal, then you leave the element of human humanness, human error, or humanness to come into the picture, and they will give a value based on their opinion of value, and they may not appraise it for as high as the purchase price. They may say, based on these comps, I believe my opinion of value is instead of 515000 I believe that the house is worth 480000 once you have that appraisal back, you have to deal with those consequences of that $480,000 appraisal. Did you do an appraisal guarantee of $25,000? Did you waive the appraisal altogether? So whatever you have done in your contract, then you need to execute that. If you, if you didn't have any appraisal guarantees, the house appraises for $480,000, then you have to go back to the sellers and see if you can renegotiate terms and see if you guys can come to an agreement on the sale price of $480,000 or something in between that you're both are comfortable with. The problem with that is you may not get the house and the house might go back on the market and you might be kicking yourself wishing that you had used that property inspection waiver. So it's really important that you understand the pros and cons. I had one client that did not execute their property inspection waiver in the last six months. We had an appraisal, the house did not appraise 
and the client decided to walk from the house. They really didn't want to buy the house unless it was appraising for that value. Then I had two other clients, one that said, absolutely, I'll take the property inspection waiver and we'll move on. And then I have a third client that didn't understand the benefits, so I just outlaid them, kind of like what I'm doing at this video, Just that was just yesterday, and they decided to execute their property inspection waiver. So it's an option for the buyer. However, wouldn't knowing this be paramount when you're wanting to put in an offer? Let's say you have this house that you really want, there's other bidders coming in on this house, and to have no appraisal needed on your purchase is pretty powerful. So if you have certainty of the house that you want to bid on, what you want to bid, your lender can run an automated underwriting system on that property beforehand to get a property inspection waiver to see if you can get a PIW on that property. And then if so, then you can put in an offer that has no contingency on an appraisal. How great is that? There's nothing better than that offer than cash for the same offer price that you're giving. And even that, technically in three weeks, two, through two and a half, three weeks when you close, because you don't need an appraisal, so it's gonna speed up the process, take out human error of maybe mistakes in the appraiser report or the appraiser saying that the roof has issues or there's unfinished work in the house or there's some deferred maintenance and so leaving some repairs necessary and needed versus not needing any of that, having no appraisal that's needed, having a complete waiver which speeds up your loan process and allows you to close sooner. So it's uh, a cash deal usually closes in about three weeks, I'm sorry, two weeks and a mortgage loan that doesn't need an appraisal closes on average in about 20 days. So Pretty fascinating stuff, right? For this and other questions, please contact me. I help you structure your loans and get your offers accepted. And imagine using this element, if you wanted to, to work to get an offer accepted above the competition because you don't need an appraisal. This is Don Connors at Mortgage One, providing you fantastic mortgage solutions. Thanks for watching.